Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Hopefully you're having a pleasant day or night, regardless of where you are worldwide. Today I'd like to talk about the 10 worst foods to eat, particularly when it comes down to bone health. Uh, these foods actually will cause significant demineralization, loss of calcium out of the bone, and lead to potential problems like hunchback, gibbous, uh, making you get shorter, more prone to, to hip fractures, spinal fractures, bone pain, pinched nerve. Not a good sign for any of these. So let's get to it. The first uh, food I want to go into, uh, actually before I go into that, I want to let you know that it's important to have vitamin D, vitamin D from the sun and or from foods or supplements to allow calcium to get into the bone. The majority of all calcium within our system is in our bone. That's what keeps the bone nice and strong. And there are other, there are other minerals as well, but calcium is what we are concerned about. Very important. Uh, high sodium foods, mainly salt we are referring to here. Now, salt causes excessive calcium to be excreted out of the kidney. So we are losing calcium from excess salt. Endocrinologists uh, over and over in many studies talk about this and a lot of the uh, published studies. So I do recommend moderate salt intake below 2300 milligrams uh, a day. Uh, if you notice, you need to look at the foods that you're eating and see how much sodium you're taking in. There's lots of hidden sodium that people have no idea. This will cause bone thinning, loss of bone, and can lead to many other problems. The next one are sugary snacks. Well, I can tell you there's a lot of things linked to sugar. Sugar is an, an inflammatory uh, type of thing that's going to affect our body. It's going to cause changes in our pH, lower our pH, make it more acidic, and make you prone to have, obviously, osteoporosis or loss of calcium. Uh, studies after studies show that sugar causes calcium depletion. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. It increases the cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone, that has a negative impact on bone health. So when you have increased cortisol from stress or from sugar, it's going to have an impact <clears throat> on your uh, calcium absorption and as well as your calcium loss. Remember, highly acidic foods generally lead to lots of potential problems in the body. The next thing I wanted to mention is sodas. Uh, if you drink soda a lot, this has a drastic negative effect on bone health, particularly those who drink uh, seven or more colas or eight or more colas a week. Uh, this can reduce the bone mineral density. It increases the risk of fractures. Um, understand that sodas have uh, phytic acid and, and uh, sulfuric acid and all these different types of acids in it that can deplete bone. It affects the phosphorus. It can affect the assimilation of the calcium. It's more of a complexity uh, that goes on when it comes down to biochemistry. But uh, another very important thing is that we always think of postmenopausal women. When you have uh, a change or a lowered estrogen level, and estrogen has an effect on calcium, um, this along with drinking sodas, if you are postmenopausal, has a higher risk of potential causing more de demineralization. So be very careful on that. Caffeine, <clears throat> we're not talking about the little bit of coffee or tea that you're drinking. We're talking about someone who goes caffeine crazy. Watch your caffeine. Caffeine leaches uh, calcium from bones, uh, sapping their strength, uh, preventing the assimilation of calcium. Uh, this ha goes hand in hand, obviously, with sugary food. So if you're a caffeine drinker and you're just eating those donuts or eating those uh, pastries, you need to be very careful because you will be more prone to have this particular type of condition. Alcohol, do it in uh, moderation. Alcohol has a significant 
uh, correlation with loss, with loss of calcium and osteoporosis. Uh, just to let you know that if you uh, are a big drinker, um, I will make you a promise that you're going to have some bone problems. So you need to really try to limit your consumption to about two to three glasses max a day. Now, I don't know what you're drinking, but I will tell you that it is not good for those good old bones. Uh, legumes. Um, some people say legumes. Uh, beans prevent the absorption of calcium. Uh, pinto beans, navy beans, uh, peas are high substances called ph uh, uh, phytates. And uh, these phytates uh, interfere with the body's ability to absorb the calcium that's found within these beans. So I will never tell you not to eat beans, but I will tell you to eat them in moderation. Very important. There's a lot of great things with beans, with proteins and fiber and cellular fiber, cellul cellular fiber. But what I would advise, advise you to do that will help this is make sure you soak your beans overnight. It will make a huge difference. Inflammatory foods, uh, we have the tomatoes, the eggplant, uh, white potatoes, mushrooms. This can cause bone inflammation. This can lead to osteoporotic changes. Uh, I am a big vegetable fan. I recommend vegetables. There are many different vegetables out there. But just be aware, when I talk about calcium, make sure you're getting at least 1,000, 1,200, 1,300 milligrams a day. People are asking me about it all the time, but make sure you have that vitamin D because without vitamin D, you're going to be losing uh, that assimilation. So if you are eating these foods that we're talking about, by adjuncting a little bit and adding more vitamin D with calcium to your diet, you can get away with some of these foods. So I wanted to bring that out. It's very important. Uh, they talk about raw spinach and Swiss chard. Um, they, can, they, they basically state that uh, they contain oxalates, and oxalates bind with calcium, and it makes it unavailable to the body. So if you're eating a lot of this raw spinach, there are different controversial things when it comes down to oxalates, kidney stones, calcium oxalates, uh, that urologists and nephrologists will say, be careful, stay away from those that spinach or that's the Swiss chard. Uh, it's true because it does have an effect with kidney stones, has an effect with the absorption of calcium. So just be aware of that. The last is the red meat. Uh, red meat uh, is great for protein. Lean red meat, maybe grass-fed, uh, organic. I would go with that any day in the world. You just never know what you're eating today. But it's known to increase what we call osteopenia, which is a loss of uh, calcium, osteoporosis. Uh, you should limit your red meat to only a couple times a week, obviously smaller portions. But soft drinks, fried foods, sweets, desserts, a lot of refri ref uh, ref refined grains that you're getting on the counter shelves, uh, you need to realize this has a huge impact on bone health. So uh, lots of vegetables, lots of water, fruit, uh, just good common sense foods, a, a wide variety of good nutrition makes a big difference when it comes to your health and how you feel. Uh, people who have chronic pain, inflammatory conditions, arthritic conditions, herniated discs, sciatica, uh, poor postural problems, you can't afford to have inflammation in the body. It will only intensify that particular problem or problems that you are experiencing. So I hope that um, you enjoyed this program. Just to give you a little bit of insight, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. Many great hundreds of self-help videos. Check it out. I think it will really do a lot of good. We're really touching hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Uh, share these videos. Feel free to leave comments below. Uh, Motivational Doc on Facebook. I, I would ask you to like that page and any particular questions, feel free. But uh, I ask uh, all my listeners out there, uh, and I'm asking you and making a positive comment, I wish you lots of blessings to you and your family, and may God always bless you, and we'll continue to work together to keep our world happy. Make it a great day now. Bye-bye.